with next month's anticipated court filing, Revel says it's reached an agreement with the majority of its lenders, and the resort's debt load will be reduced by over $1 billion through an exchange of debt for equity. A Revel spokesperson was not available today for an on-camera interview. In a statement, Revel says, As part of the restructuring, certain of Revel's lenders will provide approximately $250 million in debtor and possession financing, approximately $45 million of which constitutes new money commitments, and approximately $205 million of which constitutes pre-petition debt. No taxpayer funds will be used to finance the restructuring. Revel intends to continue normal business operations. There have been no discussions on management changes, and the resort says guests, employees, and vendors won't be impacted. Assemblyman John Amadeo says it's good news for Atlantic City. Revel's going to stay open. I'm proud over the fact the investors realized that this is a good investment here in Atlantic City. By them calling in their warrants and taking that equity share and being owners in that property and letting the management do what they feel is best for that property shows that, that that interest is here in Atlantic City. But others aren't as optimistic. They never should have built this casino to begin with. I understand they built the casino because they needed rooms on the weekend. The place is empty during the week. I don't feel sorry for them. Governor Christie has been a vocal supporter of the resort. Folks should understand that um, uh, this is something that happens at times in business. Certainly the events in the state over the last uh, number of months hasn't helped um, in terms of the, the traffic that's happened in Atlantic City and the aftermath of the storm. Uh, the fact is that we still stand ready to support Revel when Revel becomes profitable. The over $2 billion resort opened in April. Casino executives and other officials counted on the mega resort to help transform Atlantic City into a destination family-friendly getaway. I don't see it so family friendly. Quite, quite frankly, I don't think this is a place for kids. For what their price is, someone in the wintertime, I was saying, if I was going to spend the money that it would cost to spend a week here, I'd be in the Caribbean. Since its grand opening, Revel executives stressed they would focus less on gaming and more on the resort experience. But critics insist Revel needs a shift in their business strategy. They seem to be catering to a very exclusive club. I don't think it's catering to people who are going to put money in their slot machine so they can make some money. A company spokesperson says Rebel is focused on continuing to execute on its business plan throughout the restructuring process. Rebel says they expect to complete the restructuring by early summer. In Atlantic City, I'm Lauren Wonko for NJ Today.